Hi, this is Judy from Clothing Patterns 101 and I just wanted to say hi again because we are just about ready to launch the new sleeve tutorial in the next few days and I'm really excited about getting this out there to you. I just want to show you a little bit more about what this tutorial has to offer. I've already talked about the classic styles that we learned to draft, the bishop, the kimono, the dolman, the raglan, the flutter, all of those and more. And, uh, and then we took those and took them just approach them from a new direction. For example, using the circular uh, ruffle on a bell sleeve or cutting the flutter in a circle. Uh, there are other uh, approaches as well that are just a little bit different, a different way of achieving the same kind of look but with a little bit more of a contemporary twist. So the last thing I want to talk about, and it's the last thing that we cover in the tutorial, is taking it yet another step further. It's more matters adding styling details to a sleeve. So uh, one of the things that is very popular these days is what is called the cold shoulder. Uh, it is exposing the shoulder, usually in a circular um, cutout like this. And I show you how to do this. But there are also split sleeves, or another way of approaching that. This is a split where uh, you, and this is simple. This really doesn't involve pattern making so much. Uh, we don't draft a new pattern. We simply take the pattern we have and do something to it cut something out, add something to it. In this case, just it's just splitting it up the center, but it will drape over the shoulder and it's another way of exposing the shoulder. And then you have the uh, sides of the sleeve uh, flowing freely, which is very nice. But then you can take that again a step further and uh, reattach those, those ends at the bottom. One thing you can do, because this is a flutter and there's a lot of uh, a lot of fullness at the bottom. So you can just take it and tie it and then you still have the opening at the shoulder but it's tied at the bottom, a little styling detail and it also changes the hemline. But you still have a nice full sleeve. It's just it's just another touch and that's what we talk about at the end. It's not a, way, a, a new way of drafting a sleeve. It's a way of taking a sleeve you've already drafted and what can you do to put your stamp on it to add a little bit more style. So there's so much that you can do with a sleeve to make it your own. You can take um, a flutter sleeve and turn it into a pedal sleeve. So you're combining those two techniques. You can take a raglan sleeve and turn it into a flutter. I show you how to do that. You could uh, it make a bishop sleeve using a raglan shoulder. Again, it's just a different approach to the bishop sleeve. There are just so many variations, so many combinations you can put together. Uh, it's, it's unlimited. It's limited only by your own imagination, and I know that you've got imagination, so the sky's the limit. You can do whatever you want to do. So again, I'm really excited about this. It should be coming in a couple of days, and uh, you'll hear more from me then.